You said old movement? Nah, like, because honestly, if I would have changed this game, all y'all favorite players wouldn't win anymore. If I would literally, like, suggest, if they literally did the things I suggested, your favorite players would not win anymore. I would take out Rage Arts. I would take out Rage Drives. I'll make movement way better. Um, I'll leave Rage. Rage is fine. You can leave that shit. I'll leave that. Oh, and I'll take out Armor. So now we playing Tekken. Now we can see who's good at Tekken. But they're not going to do that. Because, you know what I'm saying? So so how would it win? Nah, he would win. Because that man that man was winning with Tekken 6 on um, Fang. And Tekken 6 Fang was ass. And he was bopping people with Tekken 6 Fang. So he's actually godlike. So he yes, he would still win. He, he knows how to play Tekken. He literally knows how to play Tekken. Like, he knows how to play Tekken. Just like Saint is OD, too. Saint was winning with Garen with Tekken 6. And Garen with Tekken 6 was ass. Yes, I would take out World Bounce. But they're not going to do that. Because, you know why Harada put Rage Arts in this game? I kid you not. I was at the Evo that he decided to put the shit in the game. He literally saw when Justin Wong did the Rufus special on the stage in Street Fighter 4. And he saw how the crowd reacted to that shit. And he's like, and then we saw the Tekken 6 finals where the crowd was silent, right? And he saw when people, when Justin Wong did the Rufus special and everybody put their hands up when he did it. And then he saw how quiet motherfuckers was when they watched Tekken 6. He was like, damn, man, I want my, I want the crowd for my game to act like that. So that's why the motherfucker put Rage Arts in Tekken 7. He literally put that shit because he saw motherfuckers like Justin Wong doing ultras and Street Fighter 4. And he's seen how the crowd reacts to it and how the crowd was doing the same shit Rufus did on the stream. That's literally the reason why he put Rage Arts in this fucking game. Literally. To get a crowd reaction. That's literally why he put it in the game. A lot of you motherfuckers don't know that. But that's why he put it in the game. It's a smart reason. But. If you want to be real with you. I've never been to a tournament where somebody got hyped because of a Rage Art. A Rage Drive. I mean a Rage Art. So it actually didn't work too well. It didn't work out too well. I've never seen somebody be like, oh my god, Rage Art! Ah! And then everybody do this shit together. I've literally never seen that shit. I've literally never seen that before. Yeah, I guess though. But that's cause that's cause Tasty Steven don't make everything hype. You could put like a, a box of fucking checks in front of him and you hype it up. He's like, oh my god, checks is so fucking good. It's so good that I can eat it without milk and it still tastes good. Yeah! Like he would make that shit like hype. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit not really hype. You know what I'm saying? He could have a, 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 a empty box in front of him and he will sell it. Oh my God, this box is so fucking good. I could put my fucking underwear and my fucking t-shirts and my fucking ketchup bottles in it. I love boxes. Everybody should get a fucking box. Like that shit is like, come on, bro. Like they legitimately try to make everything fucking hype, bro. Like the fuck out of here with that shit, bro. It did, but that's literally one random ass tournament that everybody forgot about. Like, who the fuck remembers Cage Morris as Take at Master Cup? Ain't nobody remember that fucking tournament. That shit old as fuck. I don't even remember that shit. So you fucking reminded me that that shit happened. That shit happened? I literally forgot about that shit. The Rage Arts don't have armor? All right. Cause I'm about to end my stream, but I, I think, cause I know they're not going to take out rage arts. They not. So what I would do, I would take out the armor and that shit. So if somebody smacks you, when you do a rage art, you get smacked and you die. That's literally, that's literally what they should do. You should literally get smacked. Like you get smacked, KO, you die. So rage arts, the only use for them will be like either the whiff punch or if you do it in a combo. Does that sound fair? That's what I would do. I would not put no armor on that shit. Fuck that. That's too scrubby. That's literally too scrubby. What if you get an input error? That's on you. Hold that. <laughs> That's on you. Get bodied. Get bodied. And armor moves, honestly, the only way to balance armor moves, if it's everybody's armor move, is punished the same way. Like if, like, if they make everybody's armor move launch punishable, then the game will be more balanced. This game is unbalanced because certain characters have better armor moves than others. So it makes the game stupid. 
it makes the game dumb. Like, oh, my armor move could crush better than yours. Oh, my armor move was safer than yours. Oh, my armor move is plus. Like, that shit is dumb. Like, everybody's armor move should be launched on a shoot. Because so is like, so you could really hurt somebody for not blocking. Because it's not, it's not fair. It's literally not fair that a motherfucker could be like, I don't want to block. I just want to armor. And you guess right that they armor and you get nothing for it. That's not every character, because Lee, if you guess right on his arm move, you're killing him. But there's literally some characters in the game that if you guess they're going to armor, you literally get nothing for it. Like, they just make you block it. And you're like, damn, I guess right he was in the new armor. I guess I get nothing for it. You know what I'm saying? There's way too many comeback factors. There's too many scrub factors in Tekken 7. This game has a lot of issues. And they need to, re they need to really fix this game. High armor moves are mad stupid. They suck. They suck. But this game this game needs to be balanced a lot. I think, you know, honestly, a lot of people want a new season. This game does not need a new season. This game just needs a new game. Like, a Tekken 8 needs to come out. Because no matter how many seasons and how many times they pass this game, this game is still going to be ass. Because it's obvious that this game is paid to win. Right? When you release all the DLC characters and all these mother, every single DLC, almost, almost every DLC character is top tier. So it's obvious that Namco is like, okay, y'all want to win? Buy these characters. If y'all don't want to win, don't buy them. They're literally forcing people to buy these characters. They're literally forcing you to buy these characters. Because if you don't buy them, you're not going to win. Don't listen to these fairy tale motherfuckers like, yeah, you can win a whole tournament with Lee Chalon. Yeah, you can win a whole tournament with fucking uh, Warren or whatever fucking character you play. That's bullshit. Because when you play the real motherfuckers that going to win, that want to win, them motherfuckers are going to use Faku on your ass. They're going to use Liddy on your ass. They're going to use Kunimitsu on your ass. They're going to use all the I want to win characters. And you're going to be stuck there with your little I am a character lawyer's little fucking t-shirt. And you're going to get bodied. And then you're going to go on Twitter and be like, damn, son. I thought I could win with the character that I love and I have a body pillow up. No, motherfucker. You can hold that shit. I think you can win with the, the first two characters that you fucking said. I think you can win with Devil Jin Akuma. I do not think you can win with Steve. You cannot win with Steve. If you only play Steve a whole tournament, you're not going to win. You're not. You're not going to win. You're not. Nah, Paul neither. Nah. I'm talking about a tournament where every guy like motherfucker is at. You're not gonna win. You're not gonna win with Steve. You're not gonna win with Kasumi. You're not gonna win with Paul. With Paul, you could get close, but you're not gonna win. Somebody's gonna counter pick you. You're gonna lose. Yeah, but that's not really like a true counter pick though, cause Steve is like good, but he's not that good. Oh, he's Lydia. Yeah, that man just plays whatever to win. I think Japanese have the best meta. I actually think Japan is the best in Tekken. Because they literally play to win. They're the only people in the... Well, Pakistan plays to win. Well, Arslan plays to win. But um, Japan literally plays to win. They literally play to win. They, they be like, if you're not top 10, we're not playing. No, Steve can definitely win a tournament? Nah, he can't. Yeah, but that's like online shit, though. He wasn't like... And he plays mad different characters, though. So I don't really count that shit. i never seen him win no offline major with no damn Steve. Yeah, but they play mad characters, though. It's not like they're going to play Steve the whole tournament. Yeah, but you say... You, you basically saying him only playing Steve. They don't only play Steve the whole tournament. They don't. They do not play Steve the whole tournament. They do not. They play him in certain matchups. Because I watch. They don't play him the whole tournament. They do not. They not you're not going to win the whole tournament. Fang Wei, you can win the whole tournament with that motherfucker. So step your game up. Step your game up, Skadab. Because Fang Wei is top 10, motherfucker. And I don't care what the fuck you say. Fang Wei is OD. Fengwei is super OD. Fengwei is ridiculous. Yes, you could. Motherfucker, every top Japanese player literally said that he's top 10, dude. Literally every top Japanese player said that motherfucker is top 10. 
They said they said probably top five. That's how good he is. That's how good he is. They said that he's ridiculous. What makes Fink top ten? That you go you can play with him without having a brain. That you can just kempo everything. That he has a, a zero on block one two. His downfall one is on zero. He has god like lows. He does mad damage. Like what what they what what is what is he good at? The only bad thing he has is that his hop kick is kind of stiff. That's about it. Other than that, he's like a complete character. He's literally a complete character. He can literally beat you both ways. He can maul you or he can turtle you. He can literally beat you both ways. I, nah, I, I wouldn't really say his ass. Cause you, if you block a low and you do while saying three, you launch it. You launch it. He got like though. He's super guy like. He a bullshit ass character. Yeah, he buggy, but he's still a top ten character. There isn't really any characters that's really better than him. You know anybody that's better than Feng Wei? Like who you think is better than Feng Wei? Like who better than him? Steve ain't better than him. Paul isn't better than him. Who else is not better than him? Dragonoff ain't better than him. Who better than him? They ain't, they ain't really, the only characters that's probably better than him is like Devil Jin. Like Devil Jin, Akuma. Who else is better than him? I literally think like he's on par with like these three. I think these three are definitely top tier. These three and her, those are all top. I think these are the best characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then ten is probably like like Master Raven. That's like ten. That's my top ten. Literally the characters I just made. That's literally 10 characters right there that I just named. I literally named the 10 characters that I think are top 10. I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. That's my top 10. That's my top 10 in the game. That's literally my top. That's my opinion. Like, I'm not going to change my opinion. That's literally my opinion. Master Raven is OD. That's my opinion. Nina? Yeah, but she's not top 10, though. Yeah, Geese is like top 15. I don't rank him top 10. It's because he has a lot of bad matchups. It's too hard to win a tournament just playing Geese. He has a lot of bad matchups. It's too hard just to win a whole tournament just playing Geese in this season. It's too hard. I think he's top 15. Cause there's no, there's nobody that only plays geese now. Even Chikorin don't only play geese. He be getting clapped when he only plays geese. Like Mel Ill tries, but he gets clapped too. He's like top 15. He's not top 10. I don't think he's better than any of the characters that I mentioned. The characters I mentioned have better matchups than him. I don't know why. I don't see nobody winning with him. Fang is definitely better than Geese. Fang is definitely better than Geese. Fang is definitely better than him. What does Geese have better than Fang? Fang got better neutral than him. Fang, Fang got better pokes than him. Fang got better punishment than him. Like Fang literally has everything better than him. It's way, it's way easier to play neutral with Fang than it is with Geese way easier like way easier like hella easier hella easier i know they don't have him as top five because they know how to fight him he's moving over fang yeah but that's only if he has meter if he doesn't have meter, he has to he has to ground game 
If you can't, like, it's mad hard to play ground game with Geese. Y'all don't know because y'all don't play him. It's literally hard to outplay somebody on the floor with him. When he has meter, then, yes, he's probably, like, top 10 when he has meter. Like, top 10, top 15 when he has meter. When he doesn't have meter, that shit is mad hard, dude. That shit is mad hard. Because Geese with meter and Geese without meter is two different characters. That's literally why I don't rank him top 10. If he always had meter, then yes, he's OD. But he doesn't always have meter. It's different than Akuma. Akuma doesn't need meter to fuck you up. He doesn't. He could just demon flip you all day. He could just fucking demon flip you, low short Tatsu, Oki, mix you up again. He doesn't need meter. He literally don't need meter. Like, Geese requires way more meter and way more footsies than this motherfucker does. This motherfucker does not need meter, and he does not need any kind of, like, actual, like, footsies. It depends. It depends, though. I can't really say that. It depends. Because if he wins a round, he probably still doesn't have meter. Honestly, Raccoon, you don't know how to fight Geese. Because honestly, one of his worst matchups is actually Fang. Like, Fang is really bad. Geese is really bad. Like, Geese is really bad against Fang. He's really bad. I even asked Chicken when at Summer Jam. I was like, yo, what's Geese's worst matchup? And he said Fang. He literally said Fang. Because Geese is not supposed to lose. Like, Fang is not supposed to lose this matchup. This matchup is really fucking bad. Geese has a lot of bad matchups like this. Eddie is one of them. What's another one? Jin is really bad for Geese. Like, really bad for Geese. Ling is really bad for Geese, too. He has a lot of bad matchups. Fang, Geese. What was what, what up? Fang. Ling, Jin, oh, he got three bars now? Damn, you see this man's three bars? Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7, Geese Howard. It says you three bars for some reason. Why is Ayu a bad matchup? Because Geese can't hit out of AOP. He said, Lee, Lee is not a bad matchup for Geese. If you pick Geese on me, it's a bad matchup for Geese. So you got to get it straight. Because every Lee player gets bodied by Geese. Not me, though. He should. <laughs> How destroyed him. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This shit is bad. That shit was super bad.